fold the petals backwards onto themselves. Oh wow, I didn't know you could manipulate flowers like this. People, yeah. I'm excited to share this work of art with someone very, very special. And that very special someone is... You could fill a gymnasium with things that I don't know. One of those billion things is floral sculpture. So, I've invited my own floral compass to help me put the pedal to the pedals. You see what I did there? I'm ashamed of that. Hi, Aria. How's it going? It's going well. Can you tell me a little history? How did you discover it? How did you get involved with floral sculpture? I worked as an event producer with some incredible floral artists and I started dabbling in it and then I went to flower school. I really fell in love with floral design there. I thought it was really meditative, which hopefully you will too when we get into it. Are we gonna sculpt? I'm excited to sculpt. I gave you more flowers than you will probably need for this, but I wanted to show you something we'll with these roses. You gotta be careful because they have some thorns on them. Yeah, I'm bleeding a lot right now. And then I give you these thorn strippers. Very gently, you're just gonna scrape those thorns off. Oh, that's so cool. They need to make these for people. Which floral sculpture says, I'm sorry? The most impactful floral sculpture will really be the favorite color of the favorite flowers incorporated. That, in my opinion, makes it more likely for you to be forgiven. Which floral sculpture says F you? <laughs> Probably the person's least favorite flower and something that they can be allergic to, like snow on the mountain, which is like a poison oak. Don't f with Aria. So we're gonna do a trick called reflexing. Very gently fold the petals backwards onto themselves and you'll see it's creating like a really fun shape. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know you could manipulate flowers like this. People, yeah. Guys, stunning. This is the most relaxing thing I've ever done in my life. Aside from general anesthesia. You wanna make sure that like it's interesting and visually exciting. And then some of these maybe? I've got these sort of honeycomb like uh, purple balls. Start finding placements for them. You don't have to follow along exactly how I'm doing. Okay, I'm putting my other little dramatic leaf down there. Oh, wow. When you look at it, it's like, I feel dirty. I wish I could stop loving this long enough to start loving this all over again. How do I keep my flowers from dying instantly? Some people put a little drop of bleach in there. Wait, come on! A little bit of bleach for real? Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah, it kills the bacteria, but just like a drop. I can't wait to go home and tell my wife this and just like do it. And she'll be like, why are you putting bleach in the water? I'll be like, hey, I know what I'm doing. Please don't like drown your flowers in bleach. No, I won't. <laughs> I swear I won't. Aria, thank you for teaching me this. This was really fun. I'm so excited that you got to learn something. I see that this is so much more than just ham-fistedly jamming flowers into a vase. This is like a true art form. I do think I've learned a thing or two, particularly the bleach trick, which I love. I feel like it's gonna live right here. How does that look? Oh yeah, exceptional. I'm excited to share this work of art with someone very, very special. And that very special someone is Mr. Will Smith. Just got home and waiting for me inside was this nice bouquet of flowers. A card made out to me it says, Dear Will, I have always admired your hustle and work ethic. It's nice. I would love to work on a movie together soon. Love, Ryan Reynolds. Not again. This happens all the time. 